My Lord, Your Ladyship, the sole purpose of conservatory orders under Article 23 of the Constitution, which gives this court power to issue conservatory orders, is to preserve the substratum, the subject matter of the petition. Here, what is being preserved is the right, constitutional right, of the deputy president who has challenged the impeachment for violating his right, seeks to have that impeachment vacated and quashed. That is what needs to be preserved, and that is the purpose for which three judges issued conservatory orders, or two judges issued conservatory orders. But my lords, your ladyship, those three judges sitting separately, each one of them made a finding that there were serious weighty constitutional issues raised that needed to be fully canvassed during the hearing of the petition for the court to have the opportunity to give a considered decision on those issues. And therefore gave conservatory orders to preserve the subject matter so that the deputy president remains, the deputy president remains in office. There is no vacuum, there is no insecurity. My Lord, the best, best guarantor for security is observance of the rule of law, constitutionalism, and the Constitution. And this is the court that has that weighted duty of ensuring that that happens. My Lord, the weighty issues identified by the three judges are one, the issue of public participation. The petitioner here says the public participation was a sham. We will be going into that through my colleagues. I'm just saying the weighty issues here. The second issue was the constitutional validity of standing order 68, giving a period of only 12 days to finish the whole purpose of the impeachment. And I would like to mention this issue of public participation and indeed the time of 12 days assumes added importance when we remember the wording of Article 1. The wording of Article 1 is that sovereignty remains in the people of Kenya. They have donated that power, that sovereignty, to your lordships, to your leadership, to the judiciary. They have donated their power to Parliament, the National Assembly, and the Senate, and they have donated that power to the executive. But the people of Kenya remain sovereign. That is why there must be adequate public participation in terms of the decision in the British tobacco case. The third issue was proof, the threshold, serious violations of the Constitution which the deputy president says do not exist 